this is the third point that he has said now the fourth point that he said that he held that respond it is the responsibility of political scientists or social scientists the responsibility of social scientists is bigger than the responsibility of natural scientists natural scientists need not concern about what is right or wrong but social scientists should concern about what is right or wrong this is what he said social scientists should concern about what is right or wrong guys so uh, my tab has been switched off so the share has gone okay so he said this thing uh, political science natural scientists so what he said the fourth point that he said is social scientists is bigger than they have bigger responsibility than natural scientists as a result because natural scientists may or may not be bothered about right or wrong because they are working in laboratories that is fight for them but social scientists you have to look at the society and they have to said what is right and wrong as a result based on these principles he said that social scientists has to guide the society now in order to guide the society he added seven more features to behavioralism and he called them these features as post behavioralism post behavioralism he said seven important theories no as i said right the seven theories seven features of post behavioralism they go in the similar lines like technique is important but the purpose for which the technique applied is is very important so purpose is very important than the techniques second thing that he said is social scientist uh, task is more challenging than that of natural scientists post behavioralism does not reject values now they don't reject values like behaviorless neither rather they invite values that is how they started trying to overcome the problems of the so called uh, the issue of blacks and whites in america now they should have the ability to solve crises this is what he said we should promote such values which contribute towards human civilization political science is applied science rather than a pure science and it is political science should be a useful discipline which needs to support and promoted by research foundations and universities this is what the seven things that he said i am going to discuss this tomorrow the seven features but try to understand this why we moved to post behavioral approach by 1960s there was some political turmoil which was happening in america but these scientists again failed to understand this as a result political science was again in decline having feared this david easton the same person who proposed behavioralism he has come and he has presented his lecture titled credo of uh, relevance through this he started saying that political science is not a pure science rather it is an applied science hence the task of social scientists is different from the task of a pure natural scientist and hence they should come out of their ivory towers and they should come out of their techniques and they should apply those techniques to the relevance of the game this is how they started thinking about the post behavioralism right this is what the thing is about post behavioralism i am going to discuss the seven features of post behavioralism tomorrow and i am going to tell what are the criticisms of behavioralism and post behavioralism over a period of time right that we will discuss and then this chapter is going to get over so i will continue tomorrow morning thanks for joining if you have any questions you can ask me otherwise i will wind it up any question guys right then thanks for joining have a nice day thank you sir